I'm here with Sasha from Elvit Systems of America, and what I have in my hand is their new Iron Vision system. This essentially, from what I'm told, and I'll have you explain more, allows someone within an armored vehicle to see outside their periphery without actually popping their head through the hatch, which is a traditional way of doing it. Am I right? Absolutely, Jill. You okay. got it. So tell me a little bit um, the target market and the missions that this would be used for. So uh, this, this particular technology really is for the ground combat vehicles. Uh, so the ground combat vehicles and their crews can operate under closed hatches because uh, there's a, a lot of mission requirements where the, the hatches needs to be need to be closed at all times. For instance, uh, active protection system. If you have an active protection system on your vehicle and active protection system is on, you have to close your hatches so you uh, situational awareness goes down tremendously. Basically what's going to happen, you're going to put the helmet on. And I There's... will. Should I try it out? Yes, okay, go ahead. Okay, let me do it. You, and talk me through what I'm yes. seeing. Yes. So you're putting the helmet on. So you actually, this helmet has, um, has a tracking mechanism. Okay. So, so that mechanism actually is tracking where your line of sight and where your head is in inertial space. So what it does, then it displays the video according to your line of sight on this display. And I, I mean, we're sitting here at AUSA and I see the, the various vendors that are surrounding yeah. the booth despite being in a blacked out vehicle. That's Abs pretty amazing. Absolutely, yeah. So right now, obviously, we're in the static uh, environment, but if, if the vehicle is moving, you can still see the same picture as, as you would with the open hatches. Okay. The key of this technology is that uh, it has zero latency. It has zero spatial latency, which basically allows you to to see the video seamlessly on a display because a lot of these systems typically uh, their biggest problem is uh, is is blurriness of the of, of the image. Yeah, when well, you, it's when incredibly you, clear. Yeah, right? when you're on the move, right? Because if your latency is high, if your spatial latency is high, then you actually get smeared image, and that makes people sick. So yeah. that's why this technology took a little while to kind of get into this market, but now we actually, uh, with, with this zero latency technology, it allows us to, uh, to, to have this capability on the ground combat vehicles. In closing, what kind of response have you gotten? Are these in use? Do you expect them to go into Absolutely. We, we, had, you know, we, we had multiple demos. Uh, we had static demos, dynamic demos, and we've got nothing but positive feedback so far. Everybody that tried the system on loved it. We had a lot of people that were skeptical about this, again, because of the previous issues on this kind of systems mm -hmm. with the latency, and we proved them wrong. They, wow. they loved it. Well, great. Congratulations, and thank, thank you, you. So, so much for letting me try it out. Thank you, Joe.